We do want to turn to Florida, where President Joe Biden and the First Lady toured the devastation left in the wake of Hurricane Idalia. But politics made its presence felt even before the president arrived, with Florida governor and Republican presidential candidate Ron DeSantis backing out of their proposed meeting. News Nation correspondent Evan Lambert is live with more on the president's trip. Evan. Natasha, President Biden on the ground tonight in Florida to tour the aftermath of what was a Category 3 storm when it made landfall, and he promised the federal government would be there to help communities recover. As thousands of Floridians clean up this holiday weekend from the buckets of water, Hurricane Adalia drenched upon the Sunshine State, President Biden has once again, within weeks, deployed to a disaster zone to survey the damage and meet those devastated by the storm. I know it's frustrating and it's hard, and uh, I've directed FEMA to help you in every way they can. He and the First Lady visiting Live Oak, Florida, a community not far from where the hurricane made landfall. The resulting tree damage from its winds could leave neighbors there without power for weeks. Major power outages, a lot of poles knocked down. Uh, it's uh, hundreds of poles uh, probably have been reported. But as recovery begins, the president's trip also bringing with it somewhat of a political storm, a snub from Republican governor and presidential candidate Ron DeSantis, who, according to the FEMA administrator, pulled out of a mutually agreed upon visit planned earlier this week. Uh, I don't think he's going to be there. We're going to take care of Florida. The president wasting little time to get on the ground in Florida, just weeks after the deadly wildfires in Maui, for which his administration received criticism for his decision to wait several days, 12 in total, to visit the wildfire destruction that left at least 115 dead. The White House says the federal response to Adalia includes 1,500 federal personnel on the ground and more than 540 search and rescue personnel, 1.3 million meals and 1.6 million liters of water available for families who have lost their homes and are without life-sustaining supplies because of the Category 3 storm. And now the storm has passed and you're dealing with what's left in its wake. And we're not going anywhere, the federal government. We're here to help the state as long as it takes. Although Governor DeSantis did not meet with President Biden, Florida Senator Rick Scott was on hand for Biden's visit and very publicly thanked the president, saying the president did a, quote, great job with an early disaster declaration. Natasha. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.